ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕਾ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਫਤਿਹ ਸੋ ਮੈਂ ਅਸਲ ਚ ਜੀ ਬਾਲੀਆਂ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਨੀਆਂ ਪਰ ਮੈਂ ਕੁਝ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਟ ਕਰਕੇ ਲਿਆਉਂਦਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਮੈਂ ਅੱਜ ਥੋੜੇ ਨਾਲ ਥੋੜੀ ਜੀ ਸ਼ਾਮਲ ਕਰਨੀ ਹੈ ਜੀ ਸੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਦੀ ਐਕਚੁਅਲ ਰਿਟਨ ਡਿਸੀਜਨ ਫਰਮ ਦਾ ਬੀਸੀ ਕੋਰਟ ਆਫ ਅਪੀਲ ਵਿਚ ਕੇਮ ਆਊਟ ਇਨ 1914 ਵੈਨ ਦੀ ਕਾਮਾਗਾਟਾ ਮਾਰੂ ਕੇਸ ਵਾਸ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਥਰੂ ਦਾ ਕੋਰਟਸ ਹੀਅਰ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਡਾਕਟਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ so this is a decision dated july 6 1914 so almost 110 years to the date and there's some language from this decision that i wish to share with everybody so ma ag mere kol jehdi case challi challya si us samay bc court of appeal jehdi sare no highest court of bc di ohde main kuch shabd jehde us samay de judge ne kahe si angrezi de vich main thode naal shamil karne ne This is an appeal by Munshi Singh the appellant Munshi Singh son of Vazir Singh of Gulupur India India Asia has been ordered to be deported by the board of inquiry at the port of Vancouver in the pro- province of British Columbia to fear mat thoda gaan chalda the appellant is specifically held to be entitled to be deported and is ordered to be deported for the following reasons that is last place of residence was Gulupur Hoshiarpur district of punjab india asia seeking to enter canada at the port of ba- vancouver bc ss kamagata maru the age of course guru nanak jahaz from china asia arriving at the port of vancouver that he is an immigrant within the meaning of the immigration act this cheez nu main underscore kar raha that he belongs to one of the pro prohibited classes enumerated in section 3 of the act that he is of the asiatic race and he does not pres- possess 200 dollars he has not come by continuous journey and is an unskilled laborer and specifically is not entitled in the pr- uh, pursuance of the orders of, uh, of in council to land in canada and is in per- is a person entitled to be deported fair macwish gahan chaldan ji this is the decision of justice mcphillips of the bc court of appeal were the power not to exist to exclude and even after entry the power to deport british subjects from the british isles of canada and all other portions of the empire might be i'm underscoring invaded by people of the undesirable classes as specifically set out set forth in section 3 of the act fir mai gaha ho jal dan ji it was asserted by counsel for the appellant the sharma sahib ne jarur kaha si ke mr bird was one of the counsel that the hindus are of the caucasian race akin to the english a judge de bayan ne it is plain that upon study of the question the hindu race as well as the asiatic race in general are in their conception of life and ideas of society fundamentally different to the anglo-saxon and the celtic races and european races in general further acquaintance with the subject shows that better classes of the asiatic races are not given to leave their countries they are non-immigrant classes greatly attached to their homes and those who become immigrants without disparagement to them are and i underst- uh, underscore again undesirables in canada where a very different civilization exists the laws of this country are unsuited to them and their ways and ideas may well be a menace to the well-being of society the akila jadama passage us judge da main pad rahe the parliament of canada the nation's parliament may be well said to be safeguarding the people of canada from an influx which it is no chimera to conjure up might annihilate the nation and change its whole potential complexity introduce oriental ways as against european ways eastern civilization for western civilization and the dire results that would naturally flow therefrom and lastly better that peoples of non assimilative races and by nature properly non assimilative uh races should not come to canada but rather they should remain of residence in their own country of origin as they do not share the same past in preservation and development of the empire so in response to that it was hard to come up with words 
But again, this is the Court of Appeal speaking about the decisions of the, of the Parliament at the time. And I think the answer was before you today. Honorable Mr. Sukhtaliwal, now a member of Parliament, hardly to be said an undesirable or an invader of this country. Honorable Rachna Singh, who is here today, the existing member of, uh, sorry, the Minister of Education for the legislature. Hard to say that that is uh, not adopting or assimilating to the ways of Canada. And of course, this is the Court of Appeal, but I'm a practicing lawyer. In our Supreme Court of British Columbia, we have the honor of having Madam Justice Bovinder Kaur Shergill, who's now in the same courts. I mean, that this was the Court of Appeal, she's in the Supreme Court, but the point is the same, that we have six in the courts as well now. Hardly hard to say that we are um, what has been described by this judge in this decision. So I just wish to share that with everybody because it's important for us, especially the next generation, just like uh, respected Dr. Sobs have come forward and done their research, it's also incumbent and important for us to do our research as well um, and to contribute to preserving the history of our forefathers that have uh, helped establish this to be a home for us. Thank you so much. Thank you.